Hi, this is Alcan. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, uh, hypothetical. I cannot pronounce these things for anything. Okay, let's just say uh, we have a like a pandemic is about to break out, and and the government is about to take control over the American city. Uh, because they are not enforcing their own laws and they're making diseases and other problems even worse to the point that um, the federal government has to step in and clean up after them. And it might end up being a martial law. And s now I know, it sounds like the latest Hollywood blockbuster of some sort, right? But let's say instead of a movie, let's say it just happened in real life. Let's say, we'll pick a city, San Francisco, for example. Right now, they're having a lot of problems down there. They're not even enforcing the quality of life laws anymore. And the drug dealing has gotten pretty bad. The hypodermic needles all over the place. It's said what it's supposed to be when they finish being used back in the plastic bucket for disposal. Yes, the red uh, containers. That's where you're supposed to put them in, but they don't. And now they're, uh, they're taking a dump all over the sidewalks, all over San Francisco. And that's a possibility that eventually a pandemic can break out because if you don't control the the causes of the diseases and all, all the homelessness and everything that happening in that particular city. Well, if a pandemic broke out, you may not have much of a choice because then the federal government may step in. Now you're saying, oh, that's ridiculous, not possible, and so on. Um, and you seem to have forgotten something. What's happening right now in Washington, D.C.? Tuesday, we're having the impeachment uh, trial, right? For the president. And who brought the articles of impeachment over to the Senate from the House? The Speaker of the House. And what is her district? San Francisco. Yes, yes. Could you imagine if a pandemic did break out? Uh, yeah, no, if you hadn't caught on, President would be more than happy to go down there and clean up that mess. And somebody on the, on the house side would be screaming bloody murder. Yelling, screaming, I don't hate him. I don't like his policies. <laughs> it could happen. Because right now, yes, the quality of life in San Francisco is going down the toilet. They're not enforcing the laws. Uh, so now they're doing everything from drug dealing on the streets. All they get is a citation. Hey, you want to give them a citation, give them a car call citation. That's a flop. Uh, yes. So they're breaking windows, they're breaking in uh, people's property, stealing stuff, selling stuff in order to get the money on, for the drugs. And uh, the clean needle exchange is not working because they're not getting back the needles, the dirty ones that's supposed to be in a red container to bag it to safe disposal. And they're sleeping all over the place on the sidewalks, on the subway part, mostly. And it's just gotten out of hand. And the thing is, like, like I said, all you need is a pandemic to break out. And the state doesn't seem to be able to grasp the problem either. So eventually the federal government had to come in and clean up. And I know people don't like that. Because, you know, oh, you're violating our civil rights. 
Well, nobody's giving you the civil rights to cause all kinds of problems. I know you're probably saying, well, is this against the, um, what the heck is that word? Not let this, not liberal, the progressives. Well, your progressive utopia is causing too much problems. I don't understand is how with all these problems, San Francisco real estate value keeps going up and up and up. It should be going down and down and down. I mean, in fact, they're losing about 400 restaurants as I speak. So, it's gotten that bad. So, but this is the thing. Can you imagine it happened? The president declares a state emergency, goes to San Francisco to clean up everything, and Nancy Pelosi is going nuts. And if it's martial law, Guess what? He could lock up Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, that's something you should be thinking about Tuesday. So, you know, I'm not saying I'm pro-Trump or anti-Trump, but I'm saying, you know, the more you keep screwing with the sky, you don't know what he's able to or capable of doing. And it may not be the Middle East. He may do the next stuff. So, I, this is my uh, uh, my idea for the city of San Francisco. You should start cleaning up your act, dealing with the homeless and the drug dealing problems. Stop ignoring your quality of life laws. You have them on the book for a reason. It's not there for decorations. And you having people have to pay to get the poop patrol coming out to homeless people? No. You you should take care of that before it gets really, really bad. Because once a pandemic breaks out, it's very hard to control. And remember, we did have a pandemic break out uh, more than 100 years ago. 1918, the influenza virus. Something to think about. This is Al Can saying so long for now, and uh, don't forget to stop. Hi, Nancy.